Hey guys, Tilly here from Sialanda. I got some news for you. Do you know what the Nintendo Switch is? If you have kids, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, let me show you what they look like. Oh, I don't have one because no one can get one. Although they've sold over 55 million of these things, no one's been able to get one since COVID-19 hit and all the kids are stuck at home, right? They're bored. Get them a Switch, right? Can't get one. Too bad. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the hackers know that Nintendo is a target and uh, unfortunately 300,000 accounts were compromised from Nintendo and uh, now those usernames and passwords are floating around out there. And uh, let me tell you how this all came about. So originally there was a, uh, if you have a 3DS or a Nintendo Wii U, uh, there was an older type of uh, way that you could authenticate your account. That was called a Nintendo ID or NNID. Well, those transferred over to the new system, which is the Nintendo account. That's the official name for it, right? And that transfer process, unfortunately, the data was leaked, right? So those 300,000 plus accounts, if you're one of them, you could have gotten something like this in your inbox. And it, essentially it's an email. It says something like, new device has been logged in, you know, it's been used to sign into your account, go in there, change your password, right? They're letting you know that something's up. Now, if you did get one of these emails, Nintendo is recommending you do two things, and those two things are my takeaway. So number one, log into your account, uh, and use a computer to do this, by the way. Don't use a phone, right? Log into your account and change the password. Now, don't use a password you use for your auto insurance, bank account, or credit card. Don't do that, right? Bad, bad news. Use a unique password, and uh, be sure to save it in a place that uh, is safe, right? So don't just put it on a post-it pad and stick it underneath your keyboard. I know some of you listening are doing that. Don't do it, right? Use a password manager or, um, you know, put in a secure location, like a secure book that's locked. Those kind of things are real simple but effective, and it's a good way to keep your password safe. So use a unique password, something that's not reused elsewhere. And second thing that they recommend you do is to enable two-factor authentication. Sounds big and scary, right? I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Two-factor authentication is that thing where after you type in your password, it either sends you a text message or an email message with a code and asks you to put in that code either from your phone or your email to, to validate who you are so that they can let you in, right? You don't want some bozo in a foreign country accessing your account. So those two things. To recap, change your password to something unique and enable two-factor authentication. It's not just for me. That's from Nintendo. So hopefully this breach hasn't been too bad for you and for your family. And uh, of course, all of us here at Silanda send safe wishes to everyone who's watching and listening. And uh, if you like this video, like it. If you uh, feel that someone else could benefit from it, forward it to someone else. And of course, always subscribe to your, our channel. We always appreciate new viewers. I'm Attila with Stylanda. Stay safe out there.